Hello, beautiful souls. I'm here once again to bring through Ashtar. And today he wants to talk about something that's really important for us to focus on right now, which is where are we wanting to change? What within us is wanting to change so that we are living into the potential that we are in this now moment instead of all the patterns of who we think we have been it's important for us to do uh, an upgrade of our hard drive is one way he described it. So stay tuned if that interests you. I'm going to be bringing through Ashtar to speak directly about that and also some more light language. And my light language is shifting. I'm really acknowledging within myself, this is part of my own personal change into stepping into the higher frequency, my my own upgrade, and realizing that powerful codes of light are being anchored in with this light language in a way that's more descript than it was before. I had a session this morning with a client that was just beyond anything I've done before in a session. And so I'm open and willing to let this grow and expand and so the light language as well is growing and expanding because of that. And also from a reading that I had where she said, you know, you are anchoring in light technology. And she helped me to acknowledge that within myself. So that awaits on the other side of this. And I will see you shortly. So I'll just share a bit more of how this has been showing up for me. I have been offering my love notes for free since 2015. So I did take a break in there um, at another time. And I've been doing a lot of my own inner healing work still. And I think I mentioned before getting really deep into the heart and some of the wounding of the heart. And the more I do that, the more I realize that I am moving into loving myself more fully. And part of what I've recognized from that is feeling now like I have been overgiving, feeling that, and this is my, my own piece to receive as well and to find this balance within myself. This is my responsibility. And I'm realizing that some of the resistance I've had lately to doing my love notes is because I have been giving more than I'm receiving in return. And this has led me to the decision to offer my love notes as part of a membership that I'm going to be making available come January 6, 2021, which is my birthday. So this is how I'm going to celebrate my 65th birthday is by fully honoring myself and making all this energy that I put into my love notes part of a membership so that I am receiving in return. And it's very important to me that what is being offered is a fair exchange for what's being received. And I feel that that certainly will be the case at $22 a month to receive love notes five days a week in your inbox. And as a friend said to me just recently, as I was contemplating all of this and feeling this change within me and coming to this awareness that I've been overgiving all my life, is a friend said, you know, your love notes are sacred. So basically she was saying, you've been giving away this very sacred material that deserves to have an energy exchange. So this is part of what I'm talking about, of feeling into this shift that has us wanting to grow and expand. And then Ashtar, when I checked in today to see what he wanted to bring forward, this was again what he said, that it's time for us to be feeling into the greater potential that we are. Because the energy frequencies have been coming to the earth for quite some time now, strongly since 2012, and they keep increasing, increasing, increasing. And so for quite a few years now, those of us who are choosing to do so have been integrating some really high frequencies. We are no longer resonating at the frequency that we used to be, but for many of us, we're still holding the old patterns of who we used to be. 
And I've been doing healing work intensely since 2012, and these deep, deep pieces are just surfacing now. Um, so it shows the depth of what we've been holding that is of a lower frequency and how much work and intention it can take for us to really bring that forward. But the message from Ashtar really is, is that it's time for us to realize that there's a, an upgrade waiting, sitting there waiting for us to recognize it, for us to say, okay, yes, let's do this upgrade on the energy computer, computer that is our, in our own technology. Say, yes, push the button for this upgrade and accept and receive who we are now and not living every day as if we are the same person we were yesterday, the same person we were five years ago, even two weeks ago. It's time for us to give space in our lives to contemplate what really is changing and shifting within me. What really in me wants to be living differently than I have lived before? What is my heart wanting to bring forward and yearning for? And he's also saying that there is technology within us that we've never brought forward before, even in the times of Atlantis and Lemuria. And as I said, I'm recognizing this in my light language as I'm <clears throat> acknowledging, okay, there is more within me that wants to come forward. And I'm also feeling that my work with the freedom release technique and the channeling, it wants to change. Everything wants to change. Part of it is tangibly, tangibly bringing things into the world. So my website in 2021 is going to have more products. I'm going to start creating tangible things that show the work that I do instead of having it all be in the etheric realm. I want to anchor it in. Part of it is going to be bringing the light language technology into my art, and I'm going to start putting it on t-shirts. So you can wear a t-shirt. One of my light language glyphs that came through is called the end of suffering or the, the evolution of suffering, it's called. Because suffering is no longer the hardship and the struggle that it used to be. It's actually a tool to transform us and get us to another level of being. And this light language symbol is so powerful. One day I had it sitting beside me on the couch and I was feeling this energy beside me. I forgot that it was there and I looked down and saw the symbol, but I could feel it like emanating this frequency out to me. So imagine wearing this on a t-shirt. This is the newness that's wanting to come through me that's more creative, less being in my head and doing the work that way and finding a new way of bringing my essence and my light and my work into the world. And so that's going to be a big shift for me. And in order for me to do that, I also had to move through some resistance about materialism and selling products not being spiritual enough in the world. Like that was a really big program for me that has just shifted recently as well. So I share this story and share my own story because often it, it lets people recognize and see, oh yeah, I've been kind of feeling the same or something very similar has been moving through me. And I know I'm someone, often it's almost like I need permission by seeing someone else doing it or someone else acknowledging something within me to take that next step. And so I share it almost as this permission that this is the energy, this is the frequency that's actually happening right now. This is what Ashtar is bringing forward. And I feel 2021 is going to be very much about this, about us becoming the fullness of who we came here to be and no longer restricting ourselves by the patterns of the past, but allowing ourselves to burst through these old programs and recognize the newness that wants to flow through us in this new energy expression that we are now living in. So if we could wake up every day and not pull on yesterday to find out who we are today, but to just pull on what is the frequency of this day, what is the energy today and, and what does that energy invite me to be? What is it asking of me as an individual who's part of the whole on this earth 
in this now moment. Then we can grow more and more and more into this frequency of living into our new potential. So I'm going to invite Ashtar to come in now and to um, expand on this in his unique way. Greetings, beloveds. Greetings, dear humans of Earth. We are here watching over you, ever present with you, encouraging you, nudging you, lifting you up when the trials become too much, giving you respite from the energy frequencies that you've been living in. And we are here encouraging you into this upgrade, into this next level of frequency that is available to you at this time. And we would like you to think of the year 2021 indeed as a year of frequency upgrading and allowing yourselves to match that frequency, allowing you to be different than who you've known yourself to be by tapping into your heart and knowing the depth of your soul that is ready to be expressed that may be very different and very new from what you've done in the past. And as this one spoke earlier, it often requires permission, permission of yourself to allow yourself in some cases to be grown up. So for example, this one has been working with people in their 20s, late 20s, even early 30s, who are recognizing that there's something in their soul that's ready to awaken and be more, but it's almost like your society hasn't given them permission to be all that and something more, to be all grown up and be their magnificence. And so the invitation to them is to do a ceremony, to do a ceremony that declares that they are in their adulthood and therefore it's time for them to step into this fullness. For others of you, the permission is to let go of deep pain and wounding from the past that wants to be validated. What is it that wants that wounding to be validated? That is only holding you back. Acknowledge for yourself that you've lived in a dark, dense time, and yet you are no longer in that frequency. You can repeat that energy of that frequency by pulling it in day after day after day. But if you are willing to give yourself permission to let all of that go, rewrite your history if you need to. We mean that literally. Buy a journal and rewrite your history and all the things that were difficult and hard. Change the story. Write about how great all those things were. Reverse the story into something positive. Because you can, in an instant, if you give yourselves permission, leave all of that behind. Take the wisdom and the gifts that you've garnered from it, but the pain and the suffering that wants to hold on to it and be validated for your suffering, the victimhood, leave that behind and embrace that you are in a new time, that you are in a new era that you are living in a new frequency and there is something new and alive that wants to come out in you that is more magnificent than you ever could have imagined. If you feel resistance to that, if you feel like this invitation is asking you to give up too much, then there's healing for you to do around those aspects that you keep holding on to and you keep pulling in. So give yourself permission then to do that healing. Give yourself the gift of focused intention into those patterns that don't want to leave so that you may release them by healing them, witnessing them, knowing they are there, acknowledging that they have had a purpose but they no longer serve you, giving them their airtime, so to speak, so they feel heard and then they can go and you can move on. 
So, beloveds, this earth and the time that you are coming into is changing very rapidly and very swiftly. And there is a great potential that in the very near future, in the next two to three years, you could be living in abundance and joy and magnificence that is far beyond anything you've ever imagined. But if you don't prepare yourself to receive this, you won't allow yourself to receive this. So if you don't recognize that in this now moment you are more than you've believed of yourself, and that your soul is prompting you and urging you into a new direction, to let a lot of the old go and step very courageously into an unknown, empowered self without always having the path laid before you. But if you can go into the heart promptings and really trust what is coming through you, trust what your heart is saying to you. If your heart is saying move here, but you resist, then you're resisting the very expansion of your soul into this now moment, into this earthly expression at this time. If your heart wants you to move in a due direction with your career or with your interests, but you make up reasons why you can't do it, instead of having faith that the path will be laid before you as you say yes, then you are resisting this expansion. So we give these examples so you will know how you hold yourselves back because you are the only ones holding yourselves back. In order to step into this expansion, you must be courageous. You must be willing to make change. And you must be willing to reflect on the patterns that have held you back all this time. The more you say yes in even small increments, for example, saying yes to this day, which is a lunar eclipse, the day that this video is being recorded, saying yes to receiving all the energies that this eclipse has to offer to lead you forward into your highest expression on the earth at this time, even things such as that are going to help you to shift and magnify the frequency that you are holding so that the old dense patterns fall away much easier once you start moving into the higher frequency energy because the higher frequency energy frequency energy doesn't sustain them. So it gets easier and easier the more you take steps toward the highest expression of who you are. And so with that, beloveds, we will leave you and allow this one to bring through the codices of light that come through her voice. And part of the shift that she was expressing earlier is that now as she is speaking the language, she is also envisioning the glyphs of the light language being anchored in. And this has greatly magnified the extent of the frequency that is coming through in this expression and um, the ability for these codices to be anchored within you with your own intent to receive them if you so choose. Um, there is a much greater frequency now being anchored in because of the shift that she has just made. And this came from creativity. She was in a session and she just had the sense of doing it and, and she trusts that sense. Whenever there's a slight sense of something, this is how she created the freedom release technique. There was no solid technology there. She had to just sense into things and say yes. And it kept coming more and more and more. So again, we share this so that you can know. It's not a solid, hard knowing all the time. Sometimes it's just a faint suggestion that you have to pull out and reach and say yes. And so as she did this in this session that it, she just started playing and allowed it to be anchored in and then she could definitely feel the frequency shift and her client definitely felt the shifts as a result of that. This is how simple it can be to expand into the extension of yourself that is magnified far beyond what you ever dreamed of being. So, beloveds, it is our deep joy and delight to have this opportunity to express this to you.
perhaps you would like to dedicate 2021 to becoming your most magnificent self, to allowing the change that is required in order for that to happen, and to receiving the recognition of what your soul is leading you toward, and saying yes to that expansion of the self. And also to say that if this does not feel right to you, not to push, not to think you have to, because there's nothing that you have to do. This is an invitation. If it meets um, an understanding that's been arising within you, if it meets your awareness and, and your awareness is now saying, yes, this is, this is what I've been feeling into, this is for me, then fine. But if it's not for you right now, don't feel like you're lesser than or you're not where you should be. Everybody's on their own timeline. There is no one timeline. Everybody is on their own timeline. And the more you accept that, and the more you accept yourself just for where you are, who you are, who you are being, so that if this invitation does not jump out to you, then simply accept that, come back to it in time, and maybe it will feel different at another time. All of this, beloved, is to say, do not feel that there are there is one way to grow and expand, and there is one way to do things, and to begin to wonder what's wrong with you if you're slower than others. Don't give any of that kind of expression to what we are saying here, because the greatest gift you can give yourself in this time of evolution is to be accepting who you are in every moment, and understanding that everyone has their own timeline, and that patience is often required, even for people as they are sensing into something new, wanting to become. For example, this one for two years has been feeling into shifting her work into more arch and expression in different ways, but it happened when the time was right. So know that as well, beloveds, that you are perfect just the way you are. And if this invitation calls out to you, then that is perfect for you as well. And if not, then rest in your own inner knowing and your own inner awareness in grace and love for yourself and acceptance for yourself. That is the greatest beginning of this journey, is complete acceptance of the self. And with that, we allow this light language to come through this one and send our blessings to each and every one of you who are receiving this information at any time through all space dimension reality. We are so blessed to be present with you. We are the Ashtar command. Okay, thank you so much to beautiful Ashtar. And now to let this light language come through. Yashniya nana Ubadai na mayana Pardon me.
So at the end, they told me that every one of us has one or more of the ancient ones who are present with us, who will help this light continue to anchor in, in the days going forward. I saw them anchoring in the codes, running the light language glyphs down through everybody's body and down into the earth. And then that got anchored into the earth and then they were doing some work on the third eye and the throat and the heart so that those frequencies could be used with greater awareness. And then, um, then our energy became like, so after that was opened up and we anchored into the earth and energy from the earth came back up and going up into the great central sun so that we became this flow of energy and then it became like a toroid for each person and for the earth and for us all as a whole so this light circulating and of course the middle is nothing but pure light frequency in the middle of this toroid so it was being awakened within each individual and then on the earth as well and the result is that we are each more easily able to anchor in the frequency codes of our highest and greatest potential so so much love to you all thank you for being present all the way through and receiving this light language at the end and know that regardless of when you watch this from these higher dimensions and these frequencies not only does it change and shift as you change and shift and come back but it also meets the perfect moment when you are watching it so that all of this energy transmission from the guides and from the light language is meeting you in perfect order for your own manner of being and your own presence on this beautiful earth. So thank you so much again for being present, sending so much love to you all. And I'm also going to be doing um, a guided meditation on December 21st. A lot of people are talking about it and it does feel significant to me. And a lot of people are doing a meditation at a certain time of day. So I'm going to join that, but invite people to come in so that we can gather as a group and do it that way instead of me just doing it on my own. And it will be, I believe at, I believe I'll start at 10 a.m. Pacific time on December 21st. So I will send that out to my love note list on my email list and also I'll bring it up again in another video before that time comes to let you know how to join if you would like to be present. Perhaps I'll do another attempt at a YouTube live. Okay, beloved friends, so much love. We'll talk to you soon.